Hello and welcome. This is going to run through some of the algebra that you're going to need to be familiar with to be a success in AS Physics. First of all, it's important to distinguish between quantities and what they are, values and units. A quantity is something we can calculate or we can measure. Examples are displacement, time, mass, force, charge and current. And we give those a symbol to use in our algebra. The symbol for the quantity displacement is little s. For time is little t. For mass, little m. For force, capital F. Charge, capital Q. Current, capital I. There are many more quantities. You'll need to be familiar with them and learn their symbols as you go. The value is the measured or calculated number that corresponds to that quantity. And you can see I've just made up a list of different numbers to illustrate that. The units are what are they measured in. For example, displacement is measured in metres. Time is measured in seconds. Mass in kilograms, force in newtons, charge in coulombs and current in amps. Now, the analogy that I give of this is that imagine it being like money. If I say to you 500, that's pretty much meaningless. The quantity is money. The value is 500. And the unit could be pounds or could be pence. And the actual meaning of that would be very different depending on that. But it's very important that you use uh, coherent units whenever you're doing calculations. Next thing to say about units is that we have an international system. SI units, a system international. Uh, the five international uh, standard units you will need to use are metres, seconds, kilograms, amps and kelvin. There's also the candela and the mole, but we don't worry too much about them in physics. Every other unit is derived from them. They are the base units of the base quantities. So, for example, a newton is not a base unit. It's actually derived from other units. The uh, newton is a unit of force. So if we take the equation uh, Newton's second law, F equals ma for force, force is mass times acceleration. The unit of mass is kilogram, the unit of acceleration is metres per second squared, so a newton is a kilogram metre per second squared. Then you'll need to be familiar with all of these prefixes and their symbols. You'll need to be able to convert between uh, the symbol, the letters there on the right hand side, and the prefixes which you can easily type into your calculator. Or go the other way from the numbers in your calculator to give one of these units. The biggest one starts at Peter, capital P, 10 to the 15, or 15 zeros on the end. Terra is 10 to the 12, capital T, Giga, 10 to the 9, capital G, Mega, and these I think are the ones you'll be most familiar with, 10 to the 6, capital M, and Kilo, 10 to the 3, or a thousand of, uh, little K. And then getting smaller than that, smaller than 1, Milli is times 10 to the minus 3, little m, micro times 10 to the minus 6, and that's a funny u, it's called a mu, somewhere between an m and a u, and a u with a tail. Nano, minus 9, little n, pico, minus 12, little p, and femto, minus 15, little f. Lastly, some real basic stuff is knowing the difference between vectors and scalars. Vectors have size and direction, and scalars have just size. The most obvious example of this is someone who's ran around a 400 metre track. They feel pretty good about themselves when you say the distance they've covered is 400 metres, but because they've gone back to where they started, their displacement is zero. Some very brief examples of this, vectors are force and acceleration. Both force and acceleration have size and they have a direction. And a scalar, mass and time. You can't have negative mass, you can't have negative time. So there's no direction to those quantities. Well, I hope you found that really useful. If you did, then look out for the next videos. And please go ahead, subscribe and tell your friends.